Welcome to Eco Farms, this is episode 32. This whole episode is devoted to creating the mega field. We have started it, it's here on the left hand side, which is going to be pretty much solely for the production of soya beans to supply our soya milk factory and the soya drinks factory. Soya drinks factory in particular takes a lot and produces very fast. The vegan milk factory uh, a lot slower. So we're going to, as I said, we have already started on the field. Um, and yeah, we're just going to need a lot of soya. So I've decided to create one huge field, which we've already started on. The field that we've used to utilized here is the field that comes up just from the from the town area just behind our pick your own orchards and as you will see about uh, as we go along in the video we we do purchase another piece of land and make an extension and create an even bigger field but in the meantime I'm going to put this onto a little bit of a time lapse until we get there and a few jump cuts just to give you an idea of what we've been doing and once we're ready for the further expansion we'll get back to you
from that little interlude. We are now just about finished with the first section of our mega field and we're just going to finish off this last little bit and then show you how we're going to make this big field into the mega field with, that we're going to end up with. We may have to of course when it comes to harvesting use slightly bigger machinery but we do have contingency in, pl contingencies in place for that in terms of mitigating the use of the big machinery planting the extra trees etc so it does cost us quite a bit more but um, it will n will be necessary to to bring this field in and to bring the the soya beans in as expeditiously as possible yeah, so this is it was ended up being an oddly shaped field at the top and that's kind of what spurred me on to to think about expanding the field and just making you and utilizing this fairly open area we do have a couple of a couple of islands tree and rock islands but hopefully we've we've left enough sp space around those for us to be able to put workers onto the field without it creating the problems that we are experiencing on some of our, old, our other fields. I uh, have made some slight adjustments to the other fields. Um, the fields just next to the what is now the industrial plant area um, I've made into one field with a couple of islands for the trees there. We're still struggling with a couple of trees on the outskirts of fields but we'll correct those and fix those up as we go along without having to cut down the fields. Well there you go, you can see that sort of arrowhead shape of the field at the moment down at the bottom of our, our screen. So the, what we're going to do is I'm going to buy field 35. It's got a bit of a, a bump in the middle of it um, but I'm not too worried about that. That is more pl place to plant trees that we need to plant to mitigate the utilization of some of the bigger machinery in terms of harvesting so we'll put some trees up there and create a nice little forested area up there we also need to look for a place to put our homestead in we're still living out of the tent and i think we're going to build our homestead somewhere in one of the little forests that we are building we'll uh, try and fit it in all around without having to take out any any further trees right so as I say we've got that odd shaped field at the top we're now going to kind of plow along the edges of the field of the well edges of the fields that we've just bought now um, I'm making this into one big field at the top of this field I will eventually put in some access roads so that we don't have to drive all the way down to the the orchards to access this field it'll be a lot closer than to to the farm itself the top of this field is pretty much going to come out level with where the flower greenhouses are so yeah it'll actually give us fairly quick access from the um, from the yard to the top of the field but this is going to be one long old pull straight up here and that's quite good as well because it'll give the we'll use well out of necessity we'll use workers on this field a lot um, and I've tried to create it as worker friendly with fairly big islands around the trees and a bit of space as you see, I'm just going to. There's a tree right in our line here, but we'll give it a bit of a fairly wide berth, so that hopefully, hopefully that's big enough. 
and then we're going to head up right to the top well not quite right to the top of the field because I do want to put a road in well I'm considering putting a road in at the top but whether it comes all the way down to the top here or whether I just put it into the corner that we will make as we hit back towards the farm area so basically the in the background there I don't know if you can quite make it out but um, that's pretty much in line with where the flower greenhouses are I wonder if we can go a little bit further up if I look on the map it looks like there's quite a space before we get to the top of the map so we might be able to just island this tree that is on the left hand side no no, no that's not going to be worth it we'll go on the inside of that of that tree yeah no we're not going to be able to create an, a decent enough space around that tree i suppose we could go on the diagonal but i'd rather use this top little area just to create a service road for this huge field so we'll go leave a bit of a berth a little bit of a space so that the machine can work around that tree you can see just on the on the left of the tractor there and we'll go straight across as far as we can go more or less to where that sort of hill area comes up I don't really want to use the area behind the existing greenhouses at this point in time I'm not quite sure whether we actually own the land we might have to buy another piece of land to get the road up to her um, but we should do it I don't know we'll see we'll see but we are generating enough money to buy the plots of land because they are so undeveloped or reasonably inexpensive compared to what we're turning over at the moment so I think we'll just go up on the side of the hill keep to the right of the trees you can just see on the top there yeah I don't want to as I say I want to leave a bit of space for planting of additional trees uh, on the hill I mean we could cut in between those two trees there and make those into an island but I think we'll just go around that and then we'll go up to and we'll almost join up with the fields that we had the corn in I will get um, the other tractor going on plying those all up so that they're ready for the next season but this is such a big area it's going to take a lot of a lot of plying with these with the size of plows that we have at the moment right now what I'll do is I'll just show you the outline and then we'll do the rest off camera and we'll come back to you once we've just just about completed making this field but we'll still spend a bit of time going to have a look at this at the outline of this field so to the left is the field that we had the the corn in So that's probably also go to Sawyer, so oh, I suppose we could eventually join these fields up. But right now um, I was probably not going to do that just yet. This is such a mega field I think. Uh, Alright, so we are exploring the boundaries a little bit of the, of the fields. I think there should still be some squaring off of that field which will be done towards the end of the of the ploughing process yeah so that kind of gives you an idea of how big that field is going to be it's going to be huge so I mean it was big already and we're now once we finish this off it will have a mega field what we'll do is we will show you the we 
well we we won't show you the rest of the plowing up to this field because of course this is just going to take ages we'll do that off camera and then we'll get back to you once we've um, just about finished and then we'll take you for a little trip around the the completed field well there we go we're just about finished now a little slither to do and then we've got this little triangle to sort out or oh, it'll help if we create put down create fields <laughs> uh, it really shouldn't take us too long to get this all sorted out so this is the area that we squared off as I mentioned earlier on in the episode looked like a little triangle that we couldn't connect up to but I was pretty sure we could I just had to find the boundaries and then once we've done this little area here the Omega field is created then we've just got to start working on it we'll have to lime it I presume and we'll then seed it in the next couple of months with soya beans so this whole area down at the bottom here will be soya beans the two fields that you could just see there as well it's a huge huge field the process has been slow and ongoing I've been doing this um, pretty much between the daily activities and all the other little bits and pieces that need to be done. Um, we have had a worker working on various fields, just ploughing them up and getting them ready. Um, I will on this eco series be doing a little bit more ploughing simply because it does help with the control of the weeds. As you know, we have quite a weed problem with the, fee with the, f uh, the fields that we have already planted. Um, it's probably a bit of mismanagement on my part. Um, with so many fields, it's sometimes a little bit difficult to keep to keep. Um, on top of which fields you've done what to. So I think I must probably actually miss the very narrow weeding margin that you can weed with the weeder. So to counteract that we will quite often replow fields after we've used it, particularly if we're changing crops, simply because that um, then means that we have very little, if any, weed problem for the next season. The problem with that, of course, is it takes extra power. Although we're using electric vehicles, we still have to generate our electricity to use those vehicles. So it's a little bit of a balancing operation and um, but I think our general consensus will be that we will replow fields pretty much every season. Let me know if you think that's a bad idea. I know it's probably not supposed to be the best idea for the fields. But because we can't use herbicides, you know, we still have to try and maximize our profits to some, some extent. But then again, it shouldn't always be about, about profit. Should it be on an eco farm? It should be making a living out of it. In any case, the field is now complete while I was waffling on there. And we'll just take a quick drive around. So there's quite a few islands that will be, have to be negotiated by the workers. There's room for expansion when we buy other 
other pieces of land around it. But yeah, it is a mega mega field. Of course, just to the left there, we're just going past the bottom end of the field now, which which neighbours onto the pick your own orchards, and then this is the long pull. So I, I would see a lot of our workers using this as your up and down route. There are a few kinks and a few islands in the way, but I. Don't think that's going to be too much of a problem for our workers. I've left a nice big berth around most most of these trees. The top area, as I said, will be converted into roads. There you can just see the greenhouses at the bottom. And that's the top area. Slightly uphill here but that's not too much of a problem it's not too severe I think our machinery will handle that with ease and then we just come back down to pretty much where we started well that's the creation of the mega field do hope you've enjoyed it um, I thought I'd just do this all in one episode and we'll just show you how we how we did it Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio!